Haumea, discovered as late as of 2005, it is a dwarf planet that is even a bit further away from the Sun than Pluto is. That is, 43 times further away from the Sun than Earth is from the Sun. Which means it is 6.5 billion kilometers away from the Sun on average. The distance can get even bigger. The size of the planet is very small, with 1,900 kilometers in diameter, surface is about 6.8 million kilometers square, which is barely smaller than Australia. What makes this a fascinating object is that it is in the shape of a bean. That is because it is the fastest spinning object in the solar system. When it spins, gravity will affect it and squash it from top and bottom of the poles. So then, what would it be like to stand at this not very well known object? Well, the first thing we would notice is that because it is so far away from the sun, it would be around minus 240 Celsius on average, enough to freeze any liquid there is. So the spacesuit would have to have so many layers of material that it is very unlikely that it will be possible to move in it. What else would also contribute to not being able to move is Kiyomiya's gravity of 0.44 meters per second square. That is 22 times lower than Earth's gravity. So if you were 70 kilograms on Earth, you would be 3 kilograms on Haumea. By being that light, moving around would become a challenge. But the gravity would be slightly stronger on the pulse, but it is an unnoticeable change. Looking at a horizon, depending on a spot, if you were by the sides, you would see just a few kilometers in the distance because of the curvature. The planet would seem smaller than it is. But if you were on the top, on the poles, the curvature would not be visible at all, and the planet would seem a lot larger than it actually is. Looking up, there would likely be no sky, no atmosphere, because its gravity can't hold on to an atmosphere. It requires a bit stronger gravity. But what would be visible are two moons of Haumea. Great view of Hayaka would be visible as it orbits at a distance of 50,000 kilometers which is 8 times closer than Moon is from Earth. But it still is tiny, so it would appear a bit smaller than Moon does from Earth. Now, we still can't see the surface of Haumea, but it showed a sign that it is mostly made of rocks and ice. But we still don't know what to expect. Maybe upon landing, we would see mountains in the distance made of ice and rock. Or maybe we would see a place full of craters with unexpected surface composition. Really, we can just wonder about it as of right now. There is not much data regarding Haumea, because it is so far away. Despite the fact that it would take 17 years for a probe to reach Haumea, it is up to us to send a probe right now and in 17 years find out what is going on in Haumea. No one knows what discoveries will be made. Big discoveries can be found just by observing.